people, it is Lyrics of Life coming back here and we don't have Lyrically Inclined today. We are going to be talking about my freaking vision board and this is a new place that I'm recording so I'm not sure where I'm going to be on the camera but I needed to move to a different area so I might just like, you might only see my arms, that's cool. So anyways guys, I'm Lyrics of Life. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. I have tons of motivational videos. I have a new book coming out, Unwavering Happiness. I have an old, well, it's not that old. It came out in September. Blinded by Love and Urban Erotica. Free poetry. Just so much stuff here for you guys. Like something literally for everybody. So go ahead and hit subscribe. And if you want to get into a freaking vision board, if you want to make one, Okay, so I think I can sing, but I know I can't, but I feel like we're a family now, so it's cool. So guys, this is my freaking vision board, which obviously isn't done because I don't even like spaces, but if you see, this is like one of my little old pictures when I had hair before I started wearing like wigs and stuff, but I still have some hair under here, just like a mullet. So guys, why am I even freaking making a video to show you guys my vision board? What is this video about? Like, can she get to the freaking point already? Why is she showing us her cardboard box? Because, so my boyfriend's mom is having a vision board party in December, and she probably thinks that I'm not going because I didn't RSVP yet, but I just did not want to pay for the tickets yet. Um, I'll wait till the time gets closer. Anyways. And pretty much it got me into let's research, like let me research what is that, like specifically, like, I mean obviously if someone says a vision board you kind of know what it is, right? But let me go and find out what is the purpose of making a vision board. So I actually typed the, like I YouTube searched it and so much stuff came out. I'm like dang, I'm late, you know, but it's cool. And I found out guys that people basically make vision boards to keep them on track. If you're a goal chaser or a dream chaser and you want to be a dream catcher, then you sometimes have to see, like you have to actually see what you want in front of you in order to continuously work towards it and to attain it. And I thought that was a super great idea because some weeks I'm like a self-starter. Some weeks I get up and I'm ready to get up at like six o'clock in the morning and I'm ready to just go out and take a walk and do so much stuff and other days I'm like in this funk where I don't want to do anything and I have to get out of that and I'm sure that a lot of people are like that it's not just me especially now that winter is approaching when it's colder let's be real we don't want to get out of the bed because it's freaking freezing so I decided to make this because I'm a very visual person I'm a very hands-on person and my job during the day is super boring I just sit on the computer all day but I can't complain because I work from home and the pay is decent, so whatever. But I needed to get busy. Like, I've been making videos, but I haven't been consistent. I've been doing poetry, but I haven't been consistent. I've been writing a book, but I haven't been consistent. And I wanted to, like, I want to bang this stuff out. Like, next year, I want most of this stuff to come true. So I want to explain to you guys my vision board so maybe you can get, like, a little bit of a feel for me. Maybe there's something that you can help me out with and you can inform me. Maybe there's something that I want to do that you want to do and you want to work together. Maybe it's something I know that you don't know. Who knows? Let's just talk about it. So I organized my vision board in like this side is like hair and beauty and like health and then like fashion. And this is like stuff that I want to attain icons, little words and stars. And this is kind of like about like traveling, career, and this is family life. So I separated it like that because I felt, for me personally, I get confused when I mix up all these categories. So for me, I know that when I look over here, that reminds me that I want to grow my natural hair back out to its natural state. It also reminds me that my hair was longer, right? And this is natural hair. I don't, you guys can't really see it because I didn't want their faces on it because it's not about them, it's about me. And this is beautiful. You know, when I was younger... I'm 25, so when I was younger, I grew up in an age where it was cool, you wanted to slick your hair down and everything. I lived in White Plains, New York when I first started middle school, and there's a very high Hispanic population. There used to be these gorgeous Latina girls coming to school with their little curly hair and stuff. So you know, the black girls used to take their hair and scrunch it up and stuff. Yeah, I know we used to scrunch it and try and get fake curly hair, but what we didn't realize is the reason we had to scrunch our hair is because we put our perm in it that straightened our hair, that took the natural curls out, when we have curls to begin with. So we gotta get back to that. I have a mullet right now because I cut off all my perm's hair, just in the top, it just, 
I don't know, it wasn't grown, so I was just like, freak this. And yeah, if you guys have been following my channel, then you know that this is super important. If you can see this right here, this is food. <laughs> this is food. <laughs> this is food that you eat, obviously. <laughs> um, but when I say that, I mean, this is food that comes from the ground. I was a vegan or a vegetarian or whatever. I don't even, I knew the difference. I switched actually, like in the middle of, I was like, I can't do this. And right now I eat meat because if you like saw my older pictures, I was like getting a little bit too slim and I was not feeling it. So I was like, back to the meat we go. But I have to figure out a way to still gain weight while being vegan and not eating meat. I haven't, maybe eating bread or something, I'm not sure. And so this is important because what you put into your body, like all those nutrients and stuff, it goes into how your skin looks, how your hair grows, how healthy you are, if you're going to have diabetes, high blood pressure, all that great stuff. So these are literally like lifestyle changes that I want to permanently make, not just do it for a month or two months. Like I want my natural hair to grow up. Eventually, I already told people when my hair, when my curly hair, when my hair, when it's washed, gets shoulder length. When it's washed, I stress that, when it's washed. Because if y'all know, black girl hair, shrinkage is real. So when it's washed and the shrinkage is shoulder length, like nice and full, then y'all will see me take this frontal off permanently. Next thing is, I'm gonna go like down here and then I'll touch on the little things later. So none of these people are me, but this is fashion. When I was in New York, and you probably looking at me like, this girl can't dress, that's right. Right now I can't. But when I was in New York, I did my makeup every single day. I mean, you wanna catch me, I, wouldn't, I would not go to Walmart, I would not go to the gas station without being slave. And I actually, I will say slave because I couldn't do my eyebrows back then, but y'all never told me anything, grimy people, man. Some grimy people in this world. But it's okay. And I used to dress up. I used to, you know, this is like a business professional outfit. So this is like the only crop top kind of I have left in my closet because I'm trying to move towards like being an adult, but I freaking love crop tops. And being that I was a chubby child, when I say like chubby, I mean like I had like like two or three, two rolls or something like that. I don't know. I was like 187 pounds, but I was thick. Like I had like, I was just wide and I had like a little bit more belly. So I didn't feel comfortable wearing belly shirts. So it was like when I got older and when I, I didn't start losing weight and losing my stomach until college, I went crazy. I don't want to wear no clothes. Oh yeah, this is, stomach is getting flat. Show it to me, baby. So I'm going to come and touch on this last. Here we have a lot of... If you look, all of these women are of the ethnic background. They're all minorities. So if you see, this is Cardi B right here. If you guys know Cardi B, or if you're not in the United... Well, I think Bodak Yellow should be international. But she's a um, stripper turned rapper. And what's cool about that is that she hustled. Regardless of how you look at it, she hustled. Like, some people don't respect strippers. Some people don't respect... I respect anybody who gets money by any means necessary. As long as you're not sitting out there waiting for a handout... Or like, you know what I'm saying, robbing somebody or killing somebody for bread. Do what you got to do because at the end of the day, I'm not going to pay your bills. Let's be real. I'm not. I'm not about to do that. Like, that's just not going to happen. So I respect people who get their hustle on in whatever way you do it. As long as ain't nobody dying and ain't nobody crying, we Gucci. You know what I'm saying? As long as you ain't lying. So then we have Taraji. Now, if you know about her, Taraji P. Henson, she has a show called Empire, and I don't watch it. I don't watch it at all. It has nothing to do with her. I just don't like watching TV. I feel like it's a freaking waste of time. But that's freaking awesome that a black woman has created her own show. Like, she's direct, like, that's what's up. You know, this is Danielle Brooks, I'm Tasty, from um, Orange is the New Black. And it's, listen, it's just so, we have here Tiana Taylor and Queen Latifah. So these are just some of the people here that I'm like, okay, look at these people, look at black excellence, look at what they've done. They came from nothing and they're something. You know what I'm saying? You can do it. So we need these people to see every day to remind myself, I want to be like that. And not to mention Tiana abs is on point. I never want my abs to be like that, but I think her and her husband be like competing like, who got the best abs? <sighs> oh, my stomach hurts just thinking about abs. Okay. Obviously self-explanatory. I need to travel. I haven't been out of this country since 2012. That's ridiculous. Um, here's my poetry album when I lived in Florida. Um, well, that picture was taken when I lived in Florida, but I live. I actually made the poetry album while living in Georgia. I'm from New York. Who knows? Might be moving back there. We don't know yet. We we 
We don't know yet. But anyways, the whole point of this, I'm going to take this off because I want to show you guys. The whole point of my vision board, people, because this, this is the point of this video. The whole point of this vision board is, and the reason Rihanna's in the center, is because Rihanna is my idol. Like, she is my, like, I love Rihanna. Like, and I'm like, I really want to sleep with her like three times and then she could go back. But I love Rihanna. Why? Did you know that like Fenty was her last name? I think that's so freaking cool. Like she took her last name and she did what all of the Caucasians do when they establish wealth for their families. That's going to go down in history. If she has kids, her clothing line is going to go down to her children. And it's her, and it's her last name. Do you know how proud they probably are of her in Barbados? That is awesome. And you know what else? She's a freaking free spirit. She don't care. You know how many times her Instagram account got deleted? She don't care. I like that because that's what you need. She's truly happy and content with herself. So guys, I know you're probably like, whoa, how am I supposed to see this? The point of this vision board is that I will achieve all of... Achieve. Wow. I knew I wasn't going to be able to talk the whole time. I will achieve all of these accomplishments that you see here that I set forth for myself. I will get back to growing my hair out healthily. I will get back to showing it to people and seeing what it looked like because people in Georgia thought I was born for the longest. I will also get back to getting up every day and taking pride in the way that I look because I have a motto. When you look good, you feel good. Think about it. When you look good, you feel better about yourself. Go back to the four steps of happiness video. But you know what? Even on those days, I look like poopies. I'm going to still get up and still act like I'm the... Not saying I'm going to be stuck up, but I'm going to go out there and I'm still going to go and talk to people and go and try and accomplish my dreams the best that I can. I will travel. It just takes money management. I have money spending problems. I like, I have very, I like certain things. Okay, guys, I like hair. I like shoes. I like hair and freaking shoes, man, and watches and like expensive stuff. So like sometimes I live above my means and, you know, I take out loans to do what I got to do, but that's what it is. Cars. Now, I don't want either one of these cars. They just don't have the car that I want up here. I want a freaking Range Rover and I will get it. Oh my God, I want a Range Rover so bad. Not because of like it's a luxury car. I just literally am in love with those cars. I could just, they're just so beautiful. And guys, you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to get married. I'm going to have kids. I don't know who the hell is going to do it. But one day, one day after I've accomplished my dreams. Okay, you see how that just happened? The point I'm trying to make to you guys is... I sat there, I made this, I started out like this, and I took a couple of magazines that I went to the dollar store and I bought. Where are they? I don't know where they are, but it doesn't matter. My point to you guys is this. The same way I can make a vision board, and I wrote a book last weekend, and I can put that book out, you can do the same thing too. Everything that you want in life is right within reach. You just have to have the confidence to go after it. Don't be shy. What's the worst that can happen? And it's so funny because the same, like I told you guys, everything I tell you, I live by it. I am so freaking shy. You probably wouldn't believe me. I even had a talk with like a doctor this weekend about like how we're both shy, but we talk so much on one-on-one. -on -one. When it comes to groups, I'm like, hey. But like when I'm like one-on-one -on -one and we have a connection, everything is all gravy. It's all good. It's great. Strangers, I'm like, hey, because I'm still working through some things. But the thing I'm learning is that every time I go out there and every time I take the chance and every time I talk to somebody, I get through. So what the heck am I being afraid of? What are you being afraid of? Here, listen, there's only two answers everyone in this world can give you. It's yes or no. There's only one answer or two answers you can give yourself. It's yes or it's no. Choice is yours. Lyrics to life.